Hello Daydreamers, welcome to Shogun 2 with Total Thoughts, the Carlist Wars mod. This is Dario, hello, hello, and welcome to our Portugal campaign. We have two campaigns going on, if this is the first time that you join us. Uh, we are playing with the Liberals now, this will be episode 4 of the Liberal campaign. And last week we did the episode 4 of the Miguelist. So we are alternating one week with each of them and seeing the differences. But we're doing pretty well. Actually, you know, Portugal is in the corner of the peninsula, the Iberian Peninsula. And uh, we're doing pretty well with the Liberals, actually, because I'm going first with the Miguelist, so I know what's going on. <laughs> and I find out in the first and we're doing pretty well. So actually, uh, I just I load in and, and I was checking out what uh, how was this campaign doing. We did uh, capture Ribatejo here in Santarém, and we moved forward right away because uh, there were the Miguelists were starting to recruit a ton of uh, units, and I didn't arrive on time. I'm uh, sitting Lisbon as you can see here, but they have a pretty uh, nice army. Now, they don't have the, the faction leader and generals because we took them out in here, if I remember correctly. Uh, but they have quite a lot of men. Four regiments of Cazador, which are the best uh, in accuracy and reloading and all that of the provincial units. Huh? Then the provincial land fusilier, which is a, a little bit of everything. They are good in, in melee, uh, they're still good in, in uh, range shooting. All these units are pretty bad, but they are a lot of them, and they have some militia here. And I'm only bringing what I have left uh, from uh, our conquer in Santarém, um, which is not much. Two regiments of uh, cazador, one almost at 50% uh, force of uh, grenadiers that are the best at melee and two regiments of uh, provincial forces, so not, uh, not enough. The good thing is that we have our general, so the skills that the general that, uh, can provide would be the, the difference here. And we have one cannon coming, that the cannons do a lot of uh, damage to morale to the enemies, so I'm banking on that, because I won't be able to send any, I mean, I'm recruiting, we have one, one regiment here, I'm recruiting some more. Might even have plus two there. We would be even. So maybe I should even send this uh, forward just in case. If we fail in here, I'm a, we're about to pass on. I, I expect that the moment we pass on, they are going to come out and, and attack us. This means that we are going to be fighting not at the fort. If you haven't seen the, the previous battles, previous episodes of the campaigns there's a new there's no more japanese castles in with this mod uh, easy the main developer has uh, uh, made for already for this uh, build um, a, a wooden fort okay? it's, a, it's a placeholder we're still working on, on that uh, but it's you know, surrounded by cannons and it's right. I can't imagine how big it's going to be this, so I'm not going into there, no, I'm not crazy. Uh, so I'm going to wait them out, but I'm afraid that they're going to come. Right away. Now, uh, for what I've learned, the uh, siege cannons are going to be very, very important now in these new castles, new battle maps, siege maps, you say. And, well, we are building the... Uh, where is it? Here it is. The siege artillery range. In the next turn, we will be able to start recruiting. Look at that. 32 pound siege cannon. 32 pound. Oh, I have a double. And 12 pounds uh, siege mortar. So I'm really looking forward to that. <laughs> um, I'm also building a, a you see, cavalry barracks. Uh, we are also building infantry barracks so we are upgrading at home we are doing pretty well in here i have another army here at the corner because th this is turn 11 
once we pass turn that we're going to do in a moment turn 12 is when uh, Spain liberals are going to have a big crackdown with public order and then it's going to take a few turns until it happens but they're going to start losing regions and the rebels are going to conquer those regions and they're going to become their own factions right in Galicia it's probable, probable that uh, we're going to have the Galicia uh, at least in one region not uh, probably not in, in La Coruña in the capital of this uh, area but uh, uh, around here we might have that I don't know if they're going to be happy with us or whatever I might even attack directly try to get uh, a hold of Pontevedra and Orense so we get this um, uh, railway company that would be the, the idea so then we could connect with this even though I'm not building it yet <laughs> and yeah but I don't know there would be the possibility in there uh, I didn't use the money to build the, the stations in here that's why we have all the other uh, buildings going on now I have some units on all the uh, outside the regions and trying to be a little bit you know have some uh, forces in there so not an easy target when the Spanish uh, factions start uh, segregating in there and see what they're going to do. But anyway, I think enough talking. Now, before anything, as always, in the video description, you can check the important links if you like this mod. Very soon, there's going to be available the custom battles uh, part of the mod, which all the factions are already uh, completed. So the, both Portuguese, the Spanish liberals, the Spanish... Uh, Carlist faction is completed. The uh, the French and the French um, uh, what are they called? The re not rebels. The uh, uh, I, I forgot the name. Well, the uh, the, the royalists. You you could say. Well, it doesn't come to my mind. Forget about that. I'm sorry. Two factions for the for the frogs. I mean the French. Pardon my my French. <laughs> And, and the British. So the, the factions are all completed. They have all the special units, their, their own units, etc. And you will be able to, to play custom battles with them in, in uh, several maps. And all those maps won't have um, the Japanese castles, as I mentioned. They would be the wooden forts. But anyway, so video description, the link to, to the total forts now on ModDB. The mod will be available soon. Not yet. Then you will have the uh, mod DB, the uh, mod DB, the um, Discord uh, link. So you can check in there as a ton of uh, screenshots and news uh, how the mod is going, and also the EC is the main developer, the YouTube channel where he posts uh, some information as well, installation guides, uh, etc. And his Patreon if you are willing really and able to support. Him. And without uh, any more talking here, blah blah blah, we are gonna pass turn. And see what happens. I'm looking forward to see the, the Spanish uh, crackdown. And see what happens. So, let's get into it. So, here we go. I still had a ton of money, but uh, since uh, I'm not recruiting the units, etc., I'm saving. Because next uh, turn, we will have uh, cavalry barracks, etc. And I want to recruit some siege cannons and cavalry, etc. The music is awesome in this mod. They are coming. Yeah, that's what I was expecting. Now, the balance of power is uh, like a 40 60 for them. They have 2,640 mother trackers against the uh, 1,146 with. 40 that is the crew for the field cannon now we need to the only thing is that is the field cannon that is joining so they're gonna be very slow i'm gonna have to to go towards them because the the cannons uh, probably the cannons and our general uh, joao saldaña are gonna be the, the very important to, to try to hold this uh, so they, they double uh, they, more than double Number. So it, this is going to be very, very hard. But let's see. Let me quick save there. 
and I meet you guys on the battle map. Uh, let's see if we can succeed because otherwise I think uh, we get our asses kicked and they're probably going to retake uh, Santarem. Anyway, let's go for it. Welcome to the battlefield, my friends. Here we are. Uh, I don't know exactly the cannons from where they're going to come. They should be behind us. Uh, but sometimes I think that uh, that doesn't matter. <laughs> really. So, anyway, I'm going to be uh, chicken chicken. Like a very chicken. Casa Doris. Get everybody. I, I want to think that like this... The units run faster. Uh, I'm just gonna send them at the back of the uh, of the deployment zone, and we are gonna run towards our cannon. So here we go. Day, sir, we defend. We defend. Oh, here they are. So they were not so. I can't. Uh... Now. In your post, sir. Okay. Well, here would be nice that you are like, even though you have some trees. And you cannot run. All of you guys. Quickly, because they are coming running, uh, I guess. So let me see, how do we set this? Casadoires. Uh, I believe three. A, 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 a line of three is uh, the better. Fusileiros. A toda velocidad. Who are you? More cazadores. A toda velocidad. Grenade. A toda velocidad. And more. Paso acelerado. Marsh. Marsh. Provisión. We are already tired? No, not yet. Okay, so they are the attacking force. So they are the ones that have to come to us. Come on, cannons. Uh, I'm actually going to swap these guys. Are you moving? Moving. Ordings. My goodness, it took them half an hour. Granaderos. Maybe these granaderos on this corner. But they are not good shooting. I'm just going to leave them here. Line of three, uh, three rank. Okay. Um... I think I'm gonna swap these guys. A limber, but don't shoot. Or, or maybe yes, shoot. Fire our will. Okay. I don't reach the hole, guys. Yeah, there are so many. 
They're gonna try to flank us. Passo acelerado. Marche. Okay. Passo acelerado. Marche. Where are you shooting? Line Fusilier. We're gonna have to go in 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 melee. At least on one flank or another. These guys are gonna be covered. By the. By the mountain. Let's get back. Okay, can you reach? Yes. Fusileiros, fusileiras. So we have line caçador. Caçadores. I'm running out of anger for the. Passo acelerado, march. Passo acelerado. For the cannons. Artilharia. You, you don't have line of sight. I don't think we are gonna win this. Nice. We go through for this heavy infantry. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to charge. Are we shooting there? No. Nice. Nice. Oh, I'm not. Uh, a few meters up would have been excellent. You are not shooting. Why you are not shooting? Those are gone. Awesome. Gone. All right. Granaderos, come this way then. You're gonna start shooting. I don't think I, I can. Yeah, I don't have a line of sight. Damn it. And limbe. We're gonna move. Those are running. These uh, cazadores. Search them. Oh, 
Fire! What are we doing? I think we're doing okay. We're going up the hill, which is terrible. Charge! But we, we are better in melee, and we have a, a moral bonus because we did a mission or something. But our moral is like nine or ten, and these guys have a four. Come on, take them out! I might need to to, to send my my general to support them though. 180, 176, yes, I wanna have to support them. Did you unlimber? I didn't unlimber. Silly me. Come here. Yes, a toda velocidad. Si we can get them from behind. They 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 are faltering already. I would like to to crash all this, but we don't have time. Come from behind. Come on, John Saldaña. Show them. How to do it? Yes. Yes. All right. That's enough. Where's the other? Fusileros, come here. My fusileros are almost gone. Uh, come on. Come over here. Who are these? Uh, line fusilier. Line fusilier. Militia. Shoot there. Levy. That's a line fusilier, though. They're not shooting. Oh, yes, they are. I could charge with my... Uh, ton of casualties. Quickly, quickly. I don't think they are going to come back. They are sh shattered. Yeah. Nice. Are you shooting? Why are you not shooting? Disparar! Disparar, coño! What about you? Don't tell me. Disparar! I don't. Sir, your general is under attack. Am I? I still don't have. Uh, I don't have. Uh, come from behind. Well, bloody head, man. Huh? You have to pay a very good attention to... Charge. Those guys are gone. I'm gonna go Bansai with my... Come to support. We won here. Well, the, the small regiment keep going. And you guys. Just stay there. Keep shooting. Granadeiros! How are the Granadeiros doing? Come on, save the beers with your bayonets! Uh, my general, I need the general to support. Don't shoot, to, shoot over there. My goodness, what happened here? Now, I, I don't think I should be able to, to shoot the cannons, leave them as they are. They did the job, though. 
103. Come on, let's go from behind again. Passo acelerado. Fogo. Atirem neles. Chumbo neles. Fogo ao meu comando. Fogo. Atirem neles. Chumbo neles. Atirem neles. Chumbo neles. I know, no. Shoot. Once we get the, the uh, some of the, the arts, the technologies, we will be able to to kneel and all that stuff uh, would be much better. Okay, our grenadeiros! Charge them! And stop shooting. Stop shooting. Stop shooting. Yeah, cazadores. Yes, run, you bastards. I clicked the, the wrong button. Come on, Joao. Continue. We need to take out as many as possible, so because they are going to go back to the city. And... Uh, we're gonna just wait them out. If they don't attack us again, it's gonna be a few turns until we 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 attack them again. I mean, until they come out. Because I'm not going against those walls. Is it? <laughs> those forts with cannons all around is just a, a suicide without siege cannons that we don't have any. Come on! Ah! Lovely music to my ears. Hey, we're shooting there. Granadeiros! Granadeiros. Why you don't move? Granadeiros. Stop shooting. Why you can oh it's, it's the end of the map. You were at the edge. And you were shooting. That's nice. Just stay there. Oh, what happened here? They're wavering. Why are you wavering? I mean, yeah, you lost a ton of uh, men, but uh, they are fusiliers. Where is the general? To kill them all? A unit has grown weary, sir. Cazadores. Which one is weary? Weary, weary. Where is weary? Who is that? Oh, I lost a, a horsey. <laughs> Where are you going, horsey? Don't run. We're going to win. No. We didn't fit you well or what? Mm -hmm. Well, I only have 12. That's why. Oh, they are gone. Okay, I meet you guys on the campaign map. And see the results of this uh, glorious victory. Charge them! Don't let them run away. They look like marines, don't they? With this uniform. What's that? Use your Kleenex. What are you talking about? Yeah. Look at that, painting our uniforms red with their blood. Well, look at that heroic victory. We we won, but we are in very, very bad uh, spot. Look at my grenadiers. Only 88 left. My goodness. So the Miguelis deployed 26, a little over 2,600. They lost 876, not even half of the, of the army, but a lot of them were, you know, like rubble. Very bad uh, morale and all that. So they still have almost 1,800 men. 
My goodness. Uh, for our part, we lost 307. We have 879 left. Wow. We killed 872. One uh, friendly fire. Not bad. Okay. So let's see how many did our cannon. They killed 52. It's all right. I didn't deploy them. You have to be very careful because if uh, there's no line of sight, even though I saw that uh, from our left side, there was one or two cannons where had a, a, a good field of view to the to the, um, the enemy, but because the other two did not, they were not shooting. So we were shooting on to the right flank, and thank goodness that would we were able to, to wipe out the right flank quickly so we could concentrate then on the left but i didn't deploy well the the cannons so i have to take note of that and be careful in the future occasion um okay, our general lost five and kill 170. Okay, let's see here. 251 look at that so this line fusilier they lost a, a ton of them <laughs> they killed 251 198 by the grenadier, right? That's the grenadier, yes. All right. We didn't get any chevrons or anything. So they are going to stay in there. And we are in the intern, so we will continue. Yes. Yeah. So here are the French doing French things. And the British going back and forth in there. But oh, what do we have here? A loyal retainer offers his daughter's hand in marriage. Will this man take her as his bride? Yeah, only, not only the hand, but take everything else. Uh, Emilia Pombal. Ambitious work. Minus one to loyalty if general. To honor if faction leader. Yeah, uh, go to hell. Lady. Uh, we don't want uh, uh, penalties. We want bonuses. Geraldine Summer. The orange blossom in bloom. Bright and beautiful. Winter dress units will get penalties and longer to recruit. Okay. So this is a script that you must have, if you have been following, uh, I always mention this, but just in case there, there's new people uh, jumping in, so I mentioned this. There's a script that you can see summer dress and winter dress. Uh, right now it's not uh, enabled. Uh, Easy will work on that when, once he gets into the, the campaign proper, but uh, you will have, you can see here, a ton of uh, maluses if you are in the wrong clothing. So now it's summer, we have summer dress, that is what is enabled. But during the winter, we will have penalties. And the rebels, if any uh, rebels come out, they don't have those penalties. So suddenly the rebels in winter are very, very dangerous. You have to be careful with that. Now when this is working, you will be able to spend some money and change the the uniforms of your armies and then uh, you won't suffer those those penalties anyway so six turns of summer we have right now and let me see if we can check out they're still happy um ah it's after passing turn 12 so we have to pass another turn actually to start uh, with the with the um The public order callout that happens in Spain. Yeah, so it will be one more. Now, what I'm gonna do is move Until my cannons to join the army. Besieging settlement. Okay. This is gonna take five turns. Let's see how they are. So they have two regiments in pretty good uh, shape. This one is destroyed. This one is pretty bad also. And then the rubble. So I think we are in pretty good shape right now. Even though. Yeah, ourselves are, are pretty bad. <laughs> the grenadiers have to be very careful because they can, even though they have a morale of 10, I think that's what saves us, really. The, the morale we have uh, because of this uh, Lord of War, driven by your mastery of warfare, your armies march fervently into battle. Oh, plus two now, plus two to morale of all land units. Ah, there was plus one, we plus two. Yeah, uh, 
It's a big difference. It's a big difference. So they last longer uh, fighting. They take more casualties to start uh, feeling weary, etc. But anyway, so we're gonna be uh, holding in there. We're not gonna move. Uh, here, yeah, you are, we can't recruit. What do I do with my uh, spies now? Should I go? Should I go? Do I have any more? No, I don't have that. I have one here. What do you wish of me? Oh, this is an uh, intelligence agent. What should we spy? Let me see. Do you have... You can't recruit units in there. You can't recruit units in there. And you can't recruit units in there. You've done terrible. So, these uh, regions could actually fall to, to the other faction rebels. What do you have in there? Three units of... Uh, I'm gonna get a four soon. So, well, if, if Lisbon falls... Uh, I mean, they are done. If Lisbon falls, they are done. If they don't change the... They dismantle some, some uh, um, buildings and start building uh, cadet schools, etc. They are done. I could even come with these units that I have here and uh, and besiege them, you know? Which we might do. But anyway, so I have recruited some more units in here. Plus um, nine, plus eight, so it would be plus one if I move them all out. I don't know if I should keep them or send them towards Lisbon. Well, the thing is that even though when we take Lisbon, the public order is going to be a disaster. So, But we will be able to recruit something, though. Because they have... Yeah, they're building cavalry barracks. So at least the cadet school would be there. Yeah. What else? What well, the summer we already saw. And construction report. So we have artillery, uh, siege artillery. Let's have a look at that. Uh, almost 4,000, my goodness. But so that's why I kept the money. <laughs> you see. So 32, a smooth bore bronze cast gun. Based on the valet system improvement of... Oh, I, can't, I can't read that. Range 1100, my goodness. Accuracy, 20. Ammunition, 30. It's going to take 8 tons. Guys, so... Uh, 2025, we will see the cannon. <laughs> I can only recruit one! <laughs> oh, it's be No, I have money. So, it's already... You only have a... A, a cap of one. This is 5 tons, though. The, C the mortar. A smoothbore bronze cast mortar based on the balabala. Boom. And what does this give you? 24 uh, pounds siege mortar. And 36 pounds siege cannon. Okay. So that I'm gonna recruit those. And we are almost out of money. It's gonna be then one more turn. No, we're going to have like three tons of trading because until they start, uh, the Spanish liberals start losing regions. Because it takes, uh, yeah, or maybe more. Next turn is when it's going to start. Then it takes like two tons to the rebellions to pop. And then they have to capture the, the regions. Three, at least three tons of, uh, of income. And then that's it. Because we will lose the, the direct line with Madrid. We won't be able to trade with them, and we have to see which one of the of the new factions uh, allow us to trade with them or not. So we also have the cavalry barracks, and now we can recruit carbine cavalry. They are very expensive as well. So let's get one. Uh, morale nine. They are not very good in melee. The range is seventy-five. But they are pretty good in in, 
a shooting. But this is uh, to run down more than anything. Run down or the, the enemies that are, you know, uh, running or attack the, the, like we did right now, the, mel the levy infantry, the uh, things like that. Maybe the, against the, the rebels. Useful. I'm not gonna recruit anymore. I'm gonna keep holding uh, money and see. I don't know what should we. That's thirteen thousand though, and this would give us mounted, mounted infantry, and sa saber cavalry, two new units. Oh, uh, cazadora cheval. Three more units. So that would be interesting. Uh, however, let me see. Now we can also recruit line. No, that's our provincial. The line cazador. This are provincial. Only line cazador? So this building only gives you line cazador? Or did I. Oh, there's another uh, row here. Okay, line cazador. Line Grenadier and uh, Skirmishes. Well, I like this uh, this icon, how it looks. Line Fusilier, Line Fusilier. I, I have a double for some, it's a bug, this. I think that was also, so, Skirmisher, there's only, there's only one though, it's not double. Now, we still cannot get the, the sappers, that I love the sappers. So we will have to upgrade this, I believe. It's 13,000. And this would give us the sappers. Engineer sappers, yes. Which are awesome. And I don't see anything new. So we have to spend 13,000 only to get the sappers. I mean, it's very expensive easy if you are watching I mean unlock just one unit 12 turns 13,000 if uh, I think in my opinion uh, I think it, uh, it should at least give some uh, chevrons to the others like if you upgrade this you only unlock one one unit give at least the uh, so right now that we have the infantry barracks, I think the uh, the provincial line should get a uh, an upgrade, like uh, uh, yeah, a chevron or something, something, whatever, a uh, a sandwich, <laughs> at least. And then when you upgrade to to the infantry school, that you have to pay a million millions of millions. Uh, unlock the sappers and at least the line the line uh, get a, a, a sandwich as well and, and the provincial get a double sandwich I don't know it, it's, I don't know. It, it's what I think I think it's, it's, it's very uh, very expensive because I don't know the, the, um, the cavalry though this one unlocks I mean right now you can only get one one uh, one type the oh the oh no we have two sorry pardon me my bad we do have two we have the car carbine cavalry and Casadora cheval what's the difference between these two so it's worse than melee the Casadora cheval but it has more morale Oh, the accuracy is 44. Reload 24, accuracy 20. Reload is lower, 20, but the accuracy is 44. Ammunition is the same. Charge, uh, a little more. Okay. Well, let's get one of these as well. So we can have them on the, on the field. Now, it's going to take me... Uh, two more turns without spending a single coin to be able to build the upgrade and that would give us then uh, 
mounted infantry. I, I don't know if they will be able to shoot from the, uh, the horse, so we have to dismount. And the saber ca cavalry. So unlocks two more units. You have double. And this uh, was here, right? And this one. Yeah, you see, the level two did unlock a ton. Because before we, we only, with the, the, the level one building, you only have the, uh, the provincial line. And now we have three units, which is line cazador, line uh, grenadier, and line fusilier, plus the skirmisher. So we are getting four units uh, unlocked. But you upgrade, and you only get the sappers. Unless I'm missing something. Line Grenadier, Provincial, Provincial, yeah, no, only only the sappers. If I if I am saying correct, is 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 I mean the engineers, the sappers are awesome. They are a beast because with the throwing the grenades, they can destroy the morale of the of the enemy. Yeah. But anyway, I can't do it right now. Anyway, I have to pass a few turns. So I will, once I have 13,000, I will decide which uh, I go for. The infantry or the cavalry. I don't know. You can tell me in the comments as well because it's going to take a while. Uh, even though I record ahead of time. And uh, uh, anyways, it's like two weeks for each uh, episode of each campaign. So you can let me know in the comments uh, what would you do? Would you go for infantry and get the sappers? Or go for the cavalry and get the, those two new units? Uh, let, me, let me know. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. But I'm going to leave it here, guys, so the video doesn't get too long. Uh, next episode, we are going to start passing turns as well. Unless uh, these guys come out. Uh, I have to decide if I'm going to move this, uh, these army units. Um... I don't know, because I was thinking sending even more to to these regions so we have enough uh, to uh, let's say yeah, like convince the rebels when these factions uh, which I don't know which ones are going to be but whoever it is, our neighbors, that they don't attack us let's say because we have a, a, a decent uh, re regiment in there or go directly and try to take uh, Alto Alentejo, for example, and stay there. Uh, in case of Badajoz. Because I believe that these on this, this, uh, these uh, cities in the south, eventually they are gonna they are gonna fall to the to the Spanish new faction when they rebel. That's that's what I think. Uh, otherwise, we will go and. and once we take all the, the Portuguese, we'll see the campaign is, is finished, right? But um, maybe maybe I can send these units towards here, and these units go and... Well, I did it, just uh, as I was thinking about it. So this is what we're going to do. <laughs> uh, next episode, uh, we, we go into that. Are you still, yeah, are you still happy? So now these units are going to go there. So that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> don't think about it. Don't think too much. Uh, now we can recruit some of the new things in there. No, I'm not gonna spend money. I said. Anyway, we're gonna leave it here before I start clicking too much. Thank you very much for your time, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, you can become a challenge member. Press the join button. Uh, you get some cool, cool perks. Early access to videos that I publish like eight or uh, videos. Uh, of time six to eight videos are always available different stuff a ton of total war on the channel uh, total war games that allow it i will give you a, a named unit of your choosing and okay. anyway thank you very much for your time please take care be safe and i hope to see you soon with the next one bye for now